Hey yogis, Sandy Cavalier here. I'm going to demonstrate a, um, a stretch. It's a pose called Kneeling Warrior and it stretches the front of the thighs and can get into the hip flexor. And this is an area that tends to be tight on most of us and it can contribute to low back discomfort. So there are many levels to it. I'm going to show you the progression getting into the deepest um, from the one that's the most gentle. Have a blanket and right next to the wall and two blocks. So I'm coming on to one knee and I'm very close to the wall and my other foot is turned out. So um, we call this proposal pose. Um, I'll place my blocks on either side of the front foot, lean onto the blocks and pivot on the back knee. Um, notice that I'm not straight up and down on the kneecap. My knee is very close to the wall. I'm not here. So you need to shift the knee back and the foot is up on the wall with the toes pointing up. If this is too much on your foot, you can pad it with a washcloth or you can keep one hand behind the foot to soften against the wall. The blocks are here um, in case you're feeling very tight. Maybe this is as far as you go in the pose. It's like a lunge on one knee, but you have the added um, benefit of the leg going up the wall to give you a deeper stretch. So you might be here in the pose. You might come here in the pose. You might go further back in the pose, taking the blocks back, getting your chest a little higher up. Please be aware that your foot is outside, your, he your heel is outside the side of your thigh, not directly behind you and hidden, coming into the glute. So move the foot to the outside of the hip. Maybe you hold your foot with your hand to soften against the wall. Maybe you come up a little higher. So there's no goal in this, but if you were gonna go deeper and deeper, you would eventually come to the point where your back is on the wall, your hip points are lifted. I'm getting a pretty deep stretch there. Um, and the hips are level, so I'm dropping my left hip and lifting my right hip. Staying for 10 breaths is a good length of time. It's really important to breathe smoothly and consistently in this pose so that you are focused and you're very aware of what you're feeling. Because if you're in too deep, you'll hold your breath, grit your jaw, and become very tense, which isn't beneficial at all. So keep it soft, keep it easy. And when you're finished with your 10 breaths, to come out and switch sides, I just put my hands on the blocks or on the floor and bring my knees together on the wall and take the other leg forward. And then again, going through the same progression, make sure the heel is outside the hip, slowly coming up piece by piece. If you're not feeling much here, you go here. If you still want more, you begin to bring the back toward the wall. And this is as far as I can go on this side. And that's where I'm going to stay. And next time, maybe I'll start with this leg, do this one, and go back to this leg. So doing the tighter side more than once in a, in a session can be beneficial. Again, lift the hip points. Whew, I really feel that now. And then maybe getting your back toward the wall. And again, 10 easy breaths. And then when you're finished, you come out. You can come out just the way you came in, turning the foot to the side and coming out. And that's it. You can do it twice on each side and you'll feel the difference the second time in right away, how much the body does start to open pretty quickly. Thanks for practicing with me. See you next time.